Welcome to Norsat Satellite Station and Tel Aviv TV. Let's start with the headlines. Catholic churches in Jordan perform Christian pilgrimage in the Lady of the Mountain. The Latin parish in Jordan celebrates the priestly golden jubilee of Father Jihad Shrihat. President of the Amman Chamber of Commerce, standing with Lebanon is a national duty. We also have the 30th edition of Al Fuhais Festival will start on August 10th and last a week. Welcome back. Within the framework of his weekly Christian teachings, and as he habitually does every week, His Holiness Pope Francis welcomed the believers coming from all over the world to the Vatican, where His Holiness contemplated and said, Most Holy Father, the English-speaking pilgrims and visitors wish to express to you their sentiments of deep respect and esteem, and to assure you of their prayers for your ministry as the successor of Peter. At the end of the audience, we will sing together the Our Father in Latin. His Holiness will then impart his apostolic blessing, which he extends in a particular way to the members of your families at home. He also intends to bless any religious articles you may have brought for this purpose. And in a special way, his blessing goes to your children, the elderly, and those who are sick. The following is a summary of the Holy Father's catechesis at the beginning of the audience. Dear brothers and sisters, in our continuing catechesis on the meaning and value of old age in the light of God's word, we now consider the words of the risen Jesus to Peter at the Lake of Tiberias. Peter reaffirms his love for Christ and receives the command to feed the Lord's sheep. Jesus adds, with a reference to Peter's eventual martyrdom, when you were younger, you used to go wherever you wished but when you grow old, another will take you where you would not go. These words have a particular meaning for the elderly, since the passing of the years naturally entails physical frailty and heightened dependence on others. At the same time, however, old age can be a time of renewed love for the Lord, hope in His promises, and growth in spiritual wisdom. Jesus goes on to tell Peter not to concern himself with John, the younger disciple, but with persevering in fidelity to his own calling and mission. His words remind us of the need in life's later years to make room for the younger generations and to respect their place in the unfolding of the Lord's saving plan. For Christ's disciples, old age can thus be a fruitful season of contemplation gratitude, and witness to the grace of God constantly at work in our lives and in the world around us. In the presence of religious, official, and diplomatic personnel and the wide participation of the parishes of the Catholic Church in the Kingdom, the believers revived the Christian pilgrimage in the shrine of Our Lady of the Mountain in the town of Anjara Ajlun, in a mass presided over by the Patriarch Pier Battista Pizzabella, Patriarch of Jerusalem. In the same context, the mayor of Ajlun Hamza Zghul stressed the importance of the return of the Christian pilgrimage to the shrine of the Lady of the Mountain after a break for several years due to the corona pandemic, considering that religious tourism is an essential part of supporting the economy in the kingdom and can be attractive to anyone in the world. Because of Jordan's security and stability, Zghul pointed out that the municipality worked in cooperation with the relevant authorities to create the right conditions for receiving Christian visitors to the Church of Our Lady of the Mountain to ensure the performance of their worship and religious rituals without any obstacles. Bishop Christophorus Atallah, Bishop of Jordan of the Greek Orthodox, accompanied by priests of the Greeks, visited the Orthodox Book Fair in the Greek Orthodox Monastery, al Fahis, under the supervision of the spiritual father of the youth, Bsharad Habre. And the exhibition was opened under the patronage of Archimandrite Christophorus Haddad, spiritual head of the Greek Orthodox Monastery, in the presence of a number of priests and members of the committee for the cessation of the church and the family of St. George's youth and a gathering of believers. His Excellency Bishop Jamal Abis, Patriarch of the Latin in Jordan, sponsored the ceremony held at the Church of the Virgin of Nazareth on the priestly golden jubilee of Father Jihad Shwehat, amid the wide participation of priests and believers. The seminary in Beit Jala received Bishop Rafiq Nahra, the Patriarchate's deputy of the Latins in Galilee. 
The president of the institute, Father Bernard Boji, congratulated the bishop on his episcopal ordination and receiving spiritual and pastoral tasks to be like the Good Shepherd Jesus Christ. His Excellency Bishop Rafiq Nahra and a group of priests presided over a divine mass, where in his sermon he thanked the seminary, stressing his continued prayer for the institute. The President of the Amman Chamber of Commerce, Khalil Hajj Tawfiq, called for the formation of Joint Lebanese Jordanian Investment Council between the Chamber, Lebanese investors and company directors residing in the Kingdom. During his meeting with Lebanese women and businessmen residing in Jordan, attended by acting Sharjay de Fer of the Lebanese Embassy, Ambassador Yusuf Raji, Hajj Tawfiq stressed that the relations between Jordan and Lebanon have a deep history that we must invest it in order to achieve more economic and commercial benefits for the Jordanian and Lebanese people, pointing out that standing with Lebanon is a national duty. For his part, Raja stressed the depth of relations between Jordan, describing it as historic and distinctive, and that the approach of the two brotherly countries is based on dialogue, moderation, and mutual respect, pointing out that there are common denominators and objectives between Beirut and Amman. During a meeting chaired by Patriarch Raphael Sacco for the priest of Baghdad, the Chaldean Church decided to abide by the priest's decision of the Synod and allocate two centers for confessions and guidance in the new Church of Baghdad and the Shrine of the Rosary Sultana in Karada, as decided and at the invitation of Pope Francis to hold meetings for families and prepare lectures, prayers and hymns evenings in the following topics. Love is an invitation and a way to holiness. The shared responsibility of the couple, the upbringing of children, the transition from tradition to modernity, and the role of the church and the parish priest, and considering the house as a miniature church in addition to thinking about spiritual sports. Al Fuhais Youth Club announced that the 30th edition of Al Fuhais Festival will start on August 10th and last a week, pointing out that the activities of the festival will highlight Jordan's culture and artistic heritage based on its constant slogan, Jordan, History and Civilization. The festival management revealed the participation of Jordan's performers representing the values and culture of our Jordanian society, in addition to the presence of a large Arab and international participation in the program. The events will be followed by musical segments performed by Jordanian and Arab singing stars. In the children's corner, Zaha Cultural Center will present various entertainment and awareness segments on the stage of the Beit al Fahis Theater. On the ticket prices, the club explained that all festival events are available to the public for free, except for the main theater events to be performed by Jordanian and Arab singing stars. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Catholic churches in Jordan perform Christian pilgrimage in the Lady of the Mountain. The Latin parish in Jordan celebrates the priestly golden jubilee of Father Jihad Shwehat. President of the Amman Chamber of Commerce, standing with Lebanon is a national duty. The 30th edition of Al Fahis Festival will start on August 10th and last for a week. For more information, please visit our website www.nusatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.